So after that, when it's done, I'll click here, show undeformed shape. And as it is selected, I'll show you about you. Now our next design method, uniform reinforcing method. So to use that method, again, I'll just go here. And from here, I'll go assign per section. And from here, I'll select uniform reinforcing. I'll click here. And you can see that here is our reinforcement. We will use our this materials property. Then bar size, I'll use 60 mm bar. Then a spacing, I will use 10 inch a spacing for our distributed bar and here for cover river i will use 1.5 inch and here its corner bar i will use 20 mm bar no problem and obviously i'll first of all i'll click here reinforcement to be checked i'll click ok after that again i'll select all of our that section and i'll go here view a revised override so we can see here our uniform reinforcing here and our each bar number our another bar number that value everything is available we have defined here and reinforcement take or design reinforcement it should be take i'll click ok after that i'll click here for a start designing okay so i'll just click here now we can see that here our available reinforcement is here everywhere it's just reinforcement we have provided i'll just skip everywhere reinforcement we have provided that are 4.4417 and i'll just go here display design info I'll just prior reinforcement ratio apply and here i'll just go per dc ratio okay so dc ratio here we are seeing that our dc ratio and also i'll identify all failure i'll click apply so no failure is available okay our structure is okay and per its boundary zone with apply so we can see that for our top river not required but for our bottom that uh, i mean for our bottom that two section here we have seen that this is required okay so this is our if you right click here we can see our its length okay our boundary its length we, we record 12.58 and for bottom we record 15.38 clear so i'll just and we can see here critical depth C well of C here for top 17.58 and for bottom 20.38 and the limit 11 point this is the limit actually and this is the crit critical depth length I'll create another video on it so I'll just close it and from here the power longer return reinforcement okay then okay the value we have provided here okay this is our provided value now what we'll do actually I'll again select I'll go here for share all design. I'll go assign prior section uniform reinforcing and I'll select reinforcement to be designed. Okay, then I'll click OK. After that, I'll go here and I'll click here. Uh, I'll again select them and again I'll click here for view or reverse prior overrides. So we can see here it should be designed. Okay then okay after that again i'll go for check design now we can see here we have provided the reinforcement more than four but we are seeing that for our bottom we require reinforcement for 1.25 inch only for our top 1.25 and for that section 3.9 and for bottom 1.9 1.7 here 4.17 here 3.47 actually this the reinforcement actually required okay see so if i right click here 
now we can see that our provided reinforcement is here for top and bottom and required reinforcement ratio okay so here is our required reinforcement ratio and our current reinforcement ratio is here clear and for share also 0 0.03 0 0.03 for leg one and for, for that section we need boundary element okay 10 feet 9 inch 10 point uh, sorry 10 point 9 inch 10 point uh, 19 inch 12.39 inch and 12.39 inch and this is our critical depth in inch 15.19 so we can consider 15.25 and here 17.5 we can consider and this is the limit critical limit of critical value 11.1 okay so in this way also we can design our that part section